We were talking about this also on the lunch earlier today that um, McDavid is is red hot. That's not a news flash for anyone. He was unbelievable last night. He's now got 20 goals, and he is 42 points away from 100 on the season, and he's got 23 games left to go. Someone sent us a tweet earlier today that during the lockout season, in 48 games, Marty St. Louis won the Art Ross with 60 points. This guy's <laughs> this guy's already got 58 in 33 games. <laughs> And I already say the way he's a good player too. A unreal player. Art Ross. The guy won the Art Ross. That means he was no one else had sixty that year. I think he can get to a hundred. He needs forty two and twenty three games. We know it tightens up down the stretch. Um, do you think that's possible, Johnny, for McDavid? You know, I always work the numbers, and while I would say it's unlikely, I think it's absolutely possible. And while I would not wager on it, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. He's just so far and away, the best offensive player in the world. It's not even that close. And um, no. whether he gets to 195, I mean, the fact that he's on like 145 point pace if he was playing a normal season, like nobody's had that forever since what Yager back in the day. Right. Um, he, he's doing it in a, in a in an era where maybe not quite from 15, 20 years ago, but still a hard era to score in good goaltenders. The staying power for me, Hayes, it will be. Well, I don't think Edmonton's going to run away and be like, okay, we can cut his minutes the last three weeks. Like, I think they'll be playing hard all the way to the end of the season. So he'll be playing big minutes, important minutes, needing to score to be successful for the Oilers to be successful. So I don't think he's going to get any nights off. Their power play, again, is really pretty good. And I think almost like Sid, when Sid scored 50 to one year and kind of committed to scoring more goals, like, I think when he wants to, to do it, especially scoring goals, he's good enough to to kind of make that happen just out of the, the, the sheer will of his talent. So I would not bet on 100 points, but it wouldn't surprise me one bit. It wouldn't either with me. I mean, I, I yeah. was kind of – Which is absurd. It's absurd. It's absurd that we're even it saying is. that. 56 games, Noodles. Like, what's the goal you can say about this? And maybe you can explain it because when I watch him play, he can't shoot the puck. Like, he can't it, shoot the puck well. Like it's play, it, it's puck placement though. Did you mm-hmm. see both goal? Did you see both goals last night that he scored? They were, it was from the exact same spot on the ice, the exact same spot in the net. I was did you, dizzy from the Deeks, the little. But quick that's hand. what it I is. Was like what the mm-hmm. hell is that? You're, you're you're watching the setup to the shot, and as a goaltender, you're like, when is he going to release this puck? Where is he going to release it from? Because, release it from because he changes angle about three times, and and meanwhile he's moving a million miles an hour at you. So Larry Brassois was in actually decent position, but both times it was McDavid's release speed that beat him, not the velocity of the shot. It was uh-huh. like the puck coming off of his stick just because the hands are so quick. The goalie's like, how am I going to catch up to this? It's already in the net. It's a difference. Like, Matthews has velocity. He's got, you know, a wicked release. Where and he it, places it, it perfectly, right. and too. It, and, it, and it's the accuracy. I think McDavid has accuracy, mm-hmm. but it's the quickness of it. it. It's the quickness of how it arrives because of how McDavid gets to space, and it's already, as a goaltender's trying to readjust from the angle that he's changing, he beats you to the hole. And he did it last night twice. I've seen it, I don't know how many times. Even the, the the night before, guys, he scored on Markstrom. Now, Markstrom wasn't very good. But if you look at that power play goal, McDavid beat him to the five hole before Markstrom could get down. And that's a that's a sneaky play. And, and it comes back to, uh, you're right, I think McDavid's more of a, you know, a points producer. He certainly could score. But he's now focusing on scoring more. And that's where I think you've got to race here down the stretch because Matthews can sheer, you know, flat out score where McDavid is now putting himself in positions where he's like, I'm not going to distribute the puck. Like R and H may as well just skate it off the ice on that two on one line. He wasn't getting the puck. No chance. Yeah, not at decoy. all. Decoy. Decoy. He was a decoy, which was I great. Still- 